In this video, we will solve quadratic equations. Here they have asked a specific method of factoring where you need to just simplify and solve it up. You need to find two factors which multiply and then, you know, solve it up individually and get the answers. But since this is in the MCQ part, your multiple choice questions and you can easily solve it in the calculator and choose the correct answer. Let's do it now. Select mode in your calculator and go to equation that is option 5 and quadratics is given by option 3. And now type in the coefficients. The coefficients of x squared is 6, then it's minus 2, and last one, there is no term, it's 0. And the answers are 1 by 3rd and 0. Same thing can be done over here, the next one. But remember, you need to bring all these terms at one side. So I'll leave x squared as it is. It will be one coefficient for that. 7x moves to the other side, it becomes minus 7. And lastly, we have 0 over here, and the answer is 7 and 0. So 0 and 7 are the solutions. We have done the same thing, the same methods in the previous question as well. So please refer that as well. And even over here, use the calculator and easily solve them up. Now, these are the same. Please do them by yourselves and then check the answers. Now, we have a real world problem here. Please note similar problems we done in the question number 12 as well. Now, we will solve these questions. The length of a rectangle is 2 feet more than its width and find the dimensions of the rectangle if the area is 63 square feet. So now length and width. But we know there's a relationship between that. Length is equal to 2 times more than width. So width plus 2 or 2 plus width. Now let me consider width to be x. So w is equal to x what will be l it will be x plus 2 so i have both these terms in terms of x in single variable or i can just write over here this will be w is l is equal to w plus 2 and over here i can write w plus 2 instead of l so that's also fine but it's better to write in terms of x now i know if i multiply x and x plus 2 that is length and width i must get the area of 63 so now multiply this by distributive property, it will be x squared plus 2x equals 63. Bring this inside over here, x squared plus 2x minus 63 equals 0. Now you can put this in the calculator and solve it up. We go to mode 5 and 3 and now type the coefficients. It's 1, 2 and minus 63 and the answers are 7 and minus 9. So okay, now it's not finished. You're getting minus 9. Can you use minus 9 as any length of it? It's not possible. So the only answer is 7. So the width is 7 because x is assumed to be width. Width is 7. Length will be 7 plus 2. That is 9. So 7 is the width and 9 is the length. That are the dimensions. Same way, please do try this problem and then you can uh, see the explanations in this video. I hope you have tried this. So here they have told length and width is given over here, 6 by 8 inches. Okay, they are already given. Are reduced by the, okay, are reduced by the same amount to make a new photograph with the area that is half of this original area. So let's find the area over here, 6 into 8 is 48. So the new dimension, new dimensions are reduced by certain amount. Let us take that as x. So it will be 6 minus x. 8 minus x both are reduced by the same amount and the area is half of this 48 half is 24 so this is 24 now we can easily solve it up distributive property and solve it 8 times 8 times 6 is 48 minus 6x minus 8x plus x squared why because negative negative becomes positive x and x becomes x squared so let's rearrange this. It will be x squared minus 8 minus 6 will be minus 14x. We have plus 48. And let's bring this inside. It will be minus 24 equals 0. So x squared minus 14x minus plus 24 is equal to 0. Just use the calculator and solve it up. Mode 5 and 3. And the coefficient is 1 minus 14. And lastly, we have 24. The answer is 12 and 2. Now, which do you take it as the correct answer? Both are positive. Now, look here. The first answer is 12. Is it possible for any of this to be 12? Because it's 
exceeding both these values. It should be less than 6 or less than 8. So 12 is practically not possible. 2 is correct. You're dedu deducting both of these values by 2. That would make it 4 and 6. And that is correct. 4 and 6 is 24. So here you can see the answer is reduced by 2 inches. Okay. And they have not asked the dimensions. But the dimensions would be 4 and 6. The reduction by the x was by 2 inches. This is the answer. Now these problems are again straightforward in the calculator. Please use mode 53 and solve them up. Here are the answers to check. And the same thing over here. It doesn't matter what is the coefficients, big or small. Just put it in the calculator. You will get all the answers. And that's the end of this topic. A very simple and easy topic. Please do watch the previous question as well and then continue watching this video.